So, uh, <laughs> it's Saturday, uh, it's a day off, and we're out for a walk. And we spotted this uh, paraglider, I think it's paraglider, or power glider, whatever it is. Um, parachute with an engine on, on his back. Um, yeah, so interesting to watch, but we won't watch too much of it. It gets boring after a minute or so. But um, we have got a lot of sunshine yeah. over that way to our left. Yes. And um, some lovely views of the trees. Just let me sh turn you around and show you the trees up the up the top of the hill. Mm -hmm. Aren't they lovely? The beautiful trees up there. The way they're against the sky. They're lovely. Quite a few people out now walking their dogs this afternoon and watching the hang glider. Oh, Pippin's got a friend as well there. <laughs> He's gone right over that way. Is he? Oh. Yeah. That's an aeroplane, isn't it? Yeah. yeah look, I can't see. You see the hang glider man has gone way off over in the distance there. Um, with his little motor. Oh, he's coming along motor engine. now. Motor engine. He's found him again. Yeah. He's coming back. He's over just up there somewhere. Um, you probably see him. I can't see him with the dark glasses on and the sunshine and so on. So um, you might be able to see him on the film afterwards. But uh, yeah, it's quite. Um, he, he's come on his own and he's yeah. parked his car in that field. And uh, so he's a very brave man, isn't he? Well, he might be coming back into land now. Yeah. He's, had a, he's had about five minutes up. Yeah, yeah. I think his motor's run out. I can't hear it. Because the wind's going in the other direction. Oh, yeah. But if we, if he does come into land, hopefully I'll be able to capture it. If I think he's going to come in, I'll pop the camera around. And he is getting lower. Try. Yeah. Lower. And there's no to, noise. He might be. A, he might want to approach into the wind. I don't know whether they approach into the wind or with wind behind them. Oh, I but can hear wind, his motor. He's not. Yeah. He's not going to. He's not going to sit, fall to the ground, bless him. Let me just turn you around and... Right, you. Right, you might be. You'll see his car mm. just there. Um, and that's got the wind sock on it, telling me which way the wind blowing. Mm. And he's up there. I think you need training. Oh, do you? Yeah. It looks good fun. I wonder if I could go up strap to him or something like that. It could be a lady actually, I'm saying him. It might not necessarily be a, be a man. Might it? I'm saying it might not necessarily be a man, but uh, no, be a lady. It doesn't need to be a man. You it can't tell anybody. anybody, yeah. Could be a bisexual person. I don't think he's on a bicycle. No, he? he's not on a bicycle. Oh, he's quite low now. He's going down yeah. behind those trees. Oh, yeah. he is low. Yeah. If he comes back. So this is the uh, this sort of stuff we see on a. Standard mm. Saturday afternoon, mm. isn't it? Lovely. We, yeah, we like to get out. It's quite. It's, it's actually a, few a really, really pleasant day, yeah. and it, we're only a like a ten-minute walk away from the site. From the, from and, the site. and it's like mm. worlds away. Yeah, it really isn't. It's a lovely part of the countryside, and I don't think many people come and walk this. There's yeah. so many nice footpaths and things. Yeah. It's so lovely. But lovely. The, that's the. I think. Can I just say one of the joys of living a sort of living the van life, as Wendy yeah. calls it, 
is being able to travel around and see lots of different right. places just yeah. like this. Yeah, just like that. Surprising. Um, yeah. They're not on any when tourist it, list, are no. they, or anything? I think, no. I think one of the most surprising places was that place at Ibston near Oxford, just off the M40. Oh, yes. Where we parked yeah. the caravan and yeah. it overlooked that valley yeah. with the um, line of yeah. trees. That was a lovely CL site, that was. And the M40 was mm. beyond it. Mm. And yeah. it was it was a little CL site. I think they've got some hard standing mm. now, haven't they? Mm. So we might be able to go there with the motorhome. Mm. I'd like to. So would I. Um, it's like a lovely place. Yeah. And such a... Well, Ibston is very historic, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Because it, it has the stone of Ib. Oh, oh, that's like right, because that. we went on the common yeah. and we saw it, yeah. didn't we? Yes. We saw the Ib Oops. stone. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Hello. Like some Hello. King Hello. Or other. Hi. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, it yeah, was quite yeah. a... Well, I mean, the pub was a bit weird, just a little walk down the road, wasn't it? I mean, what did it we was a do bit, there? It was OK, but it wasn't wasn't fantastic. But we did, we had the car then, didn't we? Because we had the car yeah, yeah, we, we could did. drive yeah. out. Yeah, we did. Yeah. But one thing about that place, though was we actually had to drive to the else and emptying point. Yeah, we did, yeah. We had to put the, put the toilet cassette in a bag. Yeah. And bearing in mind, the caravan toilet yeah. cassette, when I got it out, yeah. always leaked a bit. Yeah. So I had to put it in a plastic bag and, and put it in the car it. and then drive it up, empty it, put it yeah, in the bag, yeah. put it in the van, yeah, and so on. And then throw the bag away. Wasn't it there we... Wasn't that the place where we shaved our heads? It was. Yeah, and he gave uh, us some money for Macmillan. He was a lovely he did. man. He gave us, yeah, I think mm. he gave us like 20 odd quid and a half a dozen eggs. Yes, from the farm, <laughs> we did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was impressed with what we were doing yeah, when we showed yeah. the heads. And that, 18 that's... months ago now. Yeah, Darwin. yeah. Because yeah. it was August 2016. Yeah. It, was a, it was a, yeah, a really memorable mm. place, mm. really nice. It, I think it was. Chelsea Grange, yeah. I think it was called. Chelsea. Chelsea Grange, and I think Chelsea Grange Farm, it, yeah. It might win some awards. The only downside was, as I say, that um, that toilet thing. Well, I think his name, I think his name was David, yeah. and he was he was the camping and caravan club club secretary for C. C oh no, it was a caravan and motorhome oh, club was it caravan and motorhome? secretary for CL sites. Mm. So he was a sort of. Sort of CL site coordinator. Mm. So, you know, he was doing he was doing quite a good job there. Mm. He was. Yeah. He was. Anyway, and I, yeah, he did. Look forward to getting around to all different know. places like that again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, mm. on with our walk. Your man's not come back yet. We'll keep you informed. No, I'm not waiting. No, we're not waiting. He's just disappeared. No, he, could, he could be anywhere He went now. down behind those trees and he's not come back. He went down. We saw a, we saw a large explosion and a ball of flames come up. Yeah, so... But so we don't know what's gone on. No. No, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> if we did, I'd tell you I'd rush over there straight away. We would. We'd go and help. Yes. Because mm. I, I passed my first aid training yesterday. Oh, yeah. So uh, I'm well, not, yeah, I would that's know. That's the big news, isn't it? Yes, we haven't I said did, about yes, the big news. Did, Wendy's, yeah, Wendy's now qualified first, first aider. So I could... So now we're going to call her Ada instead of <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> I'm sure it's not necessary. Well. Anyway, I'm not sure you can do that, but I'm thinking he'll be back. He'll be back. He'll be back. Anyway, on yeah, with our walk. Elmwood, so yeah. <laughs>